those seamless clip-ins. Y'all freaking love them. I love them. Perfect for my fine hair girls. I told y'all I was gonna try the kinky version as well. Y'all, they're the exact same style. So they're the seamless clip-ins with the little PU plastic thingy. I don't know what it's called. I still don't know what it's called. I should probably look that up. If you don't know, seamless clip-ins are not your traditional old school clip-ins that are still pretty bulky. I love clip-ins. I've always loved clip-ins, but my hair is on the finer side. And the old school clip-ins, they were cool, but it's time to evolve. These are just so flat. More than anything, they're undetectable. They're not gonna be bulky. Especially, I've always had a problem with them kind of sticking out around my leave out, like the old school ones. These just lay a little bit flatter. You can use them to add more volume. If you don't really want length, I would just get the same length as my hair, which I plan on doing as well. And I cannot wait to show you guys that video. Um, but also, if you wanna add just some in the back, or you can do a full head like I, think I'm about to do, I think I'm gonna do that. So I went on ahead and washed these. They're about 80% dry. Y'all, I got this little blow dryer brush. It's not like your typical one. It has these kind of like bristles on it, not your like standard bristles. I've been using the crap out of this. Didn't think I would use it and I have been. So I'm gonna use this to finish drying my extensions, you guys. And then we will go ahead and add these bad boys in and see how they look. All right, y'all, so this is how the clip-ins come. They are wrapped really well in the boxes and then bagged and tagged appropriately. Um, as far as straightening these, well, really just blow drying them. I'm blow drying them on, I think like medium or high heat, actually. I think I did high heat today and I, sp I sprayed um, heat protectant on these. It got out a little bit of the kink, but through this whole process, I still wanted to keep a little bit of that kinkiness in there. Y'all, I didn't get any shedding. The hair is still very soft. It looks really good. It feels good. And I like the color as well. I finished, finished blowing them. It really took like five minutes, you guys, cause I mainly, like I said, let them air dry. I tried to let all of my hair, no matter if I'm wearing clip-ins, wigs, whatever, I'm going to air dry them at least 75%. I'm just trying to increase the longevity of the hair I'm wearing. All right, so yeah, moving right along, so we ain't got all day. I'm gonna go ahead and separate these. Then I'm gonna run my big old flat iron through, and I'm gonna see how that looks once I have them on. I'm gonna worry y'all now. What's under here is, it is what it is, okay? We don't judge on this channel. So just a quick close up shot, you guys. Look how skinny the track is. Look how flat that is. It would be just as flat to your hair. Um, of course, y'all, for your braid down, you'll see mine in just a second. But keep in mind, you can leave some of your hair out if you want to. You can blend it on in or you can go ahead and make this a protective style and braid up everything. So I'm just going in and flat ironing um, the tracks the clip-ins because it's just much easier to do it um while they're not on my head then you can get closer to the root if you need to and now let's go ahead and do something with my hair underneath you guys it's been in flat twist for over a week and a half now and so i just took those out i'm just taking out a little bit of leave out on the edges and then um of course in the middle because i'm doing a middle part and i'm just gonna start adding these in one track at a time I think it looks so good so far. I'm excited. I'm gonna go ahead 
and just hit my leave out real quick. And then um, use a little bit of gel to kind of lay my edges. I'm trying to decide if I want to put any curls in this, y'all. I really don't, but I know y'all are gonna wanna know how it curls. Honestly, you guys, to me, kinky straight texture, like this kind of texture, it doesn't matter the brand. The brand does not matter. It never holds a curl if you're doing it same day. If you're doing it like overnight, using your flexi rods, using a lot of setting foam, then yes, they will definitely hold a curl. I think I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all anyways, and we'll just see how it ends up. So y'all, I wanted to highlight this moment right here because I love the outcome. Like I, you could literally just leave it like this and be done and walk out the house. It looks so natural, y'all. I got somebody back there. Y'all was dancing and singing and all that kind of stuff. Having me a good time, but look how natural and flat that looks. But of course, I'ma lay a little bit of my edges because that's just what I like to do. But for my girls that don't really wanna have to deal with or worry about laying their edges all the time, Look, I know y'all saw how well that blended in and I just had to show again just how flat these clippings were because I was I was a little shocked myself, you guys, that these would end up being so flat. Um, so yeah, and they could have been flatter had I actually went clip in by clip in and flat ironed them really well, but I did not do that. So curling these, y'all know, like I said, I didn't really want to, so I'm just doing my really quick method of curling, just using um, the heat from my curling iron. Um, I'm not really focused on getting this curl, curl right, I'm just, throwing in my flexi rod and then I'll spray some hairspray on top of that to get it to set. But I also wanted to point out these, since these are kinky straight, they're going to require a little bit more work um, in the beginning. So basically just blow drying them straight or flat ironing them to get them, you know, at the right density and not look too crazy and too full. So keep that in mind. But once you do that, you should be set for quite a while and you shouldn't have to keep adding on, like adding heat to your clip-ins. So I changed really quickly to give you guys a better effect. I'm about to take these um, flexi rods out. The hair curled really well. I just really like how natural it looks, how easy it also is to just install, how well it blended with my 4B4C natural hair, you guys, and just the overall looks. And y'all just adding these few clips in here in case you were wondering if you can sleep in these, you absolutely can. They are comfortable enough to sleep in you guys. Normally I wouldn't recommend it because you don't want anything pulling on your hair, but these are lightweight. They're comfortable to sleep in. This is all that I do if I'm gonna sleep in them. Just two little um, braids, roll them up with a flexi rod, put my um, little, what you call it on? My bonnet on and I am good to go. All right, you guys, so this is the final look. I love everything about it. Look how cute this came out. I freaking love it. And y'all, it held a curl. Y'all see a little curl like that? Y'all, the clip-ins feel really good on my head. Usually clip-ins will like give me a headache after a few hours, and I think I'm gonna be good with these. If you don't wanna wear a wig, if you need a quick style like options for the holidays, I'm telling you guys, just like I told you before, pick up these clip-ins, especially for my natural girls, my 4B, 4C girls that don't wanna do the silky, the body wave, that kind of thing, but still want clip-ins. These are for you. I don't think I said it before, but I have in 20 and 22 as far as lengths go. I don't think I would do anything longer than this. I think this is a really good length for me because the hair is so full. So yeah, you guys, make sure you check the description box. Make sure you check everything down up in there. I will put everything that I possibly can. Check these clippings out. Go ahead and pick them up before they sell out again, just like the other ones sold out at one point in time. I think they're back in stock. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, all that great stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye. If somebody's heaven, tell me.